So we're back to give this one more shot. It's on a Friday, early in the morning. So we're gonna see if the water's clear. If our theory is accurate, you wanna come out here earlier, not later, because you might have some clear water and those boats don't churn up these tide pools. So we're gonna see what happens. Here's the sun, Brody. Where's the sun, Dylan? What's up, Dylan? All right, guys, we'll see what we see. We made it out to this section here, and I don't know if you can see that, but it does look very clear, doesn't it? So I think one of the criteria of this area, especially uh, is not going on a Saturday or Sunday. This is a Friday, so this could still be busy, but also getting out early is better than later because look at that clear water. So we can see all the trucks all the way down. The day we came out that uh, a couple days ago when I shot that last video, definitely not this clear. So hopefully I'll get a few shots in here, be able to show you what it would look like on a prettier day.
guys, we were correct. So the earlier you come out here, the better off it is in these uh, tide pools because since this is a boat channel, the wakes start coming in when the boats come by. I don't know if you can see some even coming in right now. And that's what starts murky in the water, hitting the stuff off these rocks and getting it a little bit murky. But as you can see down there, if you've still got really, really good clear water, if you don't go on a Saturday or Sunday, Maybe if you have good weather out on the beach, you're going to have good weather for snorkeling here. So definitely a good destination to try. Um, I'll show you some of the just short little videos I took of just when I was here. Just uh, you know, this is in a morning time around 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock is the best time. Just when the light starts hitting on it, really good, so you get good visibility. All right, guys, see you soon.